Hello friends, welcome to science class with me, Miss Rosa. How are you today? Hope is well with you. Today we will learn about how do you think living things are different from non-living things? There are many things around us. We can classify them into two main groups. Living things and non-living things. We know that something is a living thing when it can carry out life processes like nutrition, movement, growth, sensitivity, respiration, excretion, and reproduction. A non-living thing cannot carry out all of these life processes. These are seven examples that follow explain the differences between living things and non-living things. First, Nutrition. All living things need food and water to stay alive. However, non-living things do not. Next is growth. All living things grow. However, non-living things do not. Movement. All living things can move on their own. However, non-living things cannot. Sensitivity. All living things can respond to changes around them. However, non-living things cannot. Respiration. All living things can respire. However, non-living things cannot. Excretion. All living things can excrete. However, non-living things cannot. The last is reproduction. All living things can reproduce themselves, however, non-living things cannot. Okay friends, that's all that I can explain. I hope my explanation is clear enough for you so you can understand our topic for today. See you!